We are proud parents of senior dogs, and that's what I want to talk to him today. I've got a mother and daughter West Highland Terriers. They're smart dogs. The mother, Misty, is um, 11 and a half, nearly 12, and her daughter is uh, seven. So Misty took ill, and she was sh she was shaking on the floor and couldn't we didn't want any food and stuff and she was really really ill so we took her to the emergency vet and the emergency vet said this is bad you know, she had to have scans and of course everything's so expensive and they had a look and they said it's an in it's her in internal organs there's some really bad stuff going on in there and and we think that this is pos possibly this is possibly it um we were all crying and then the, we got a call from the vet saying well look, we've just had a look at the scan again and we think if we take her gallbladder out, that might unblock things and make it all a bit better down there. I said, uh, how much would that be? And they went, they told me, and I kind of fainted. Uh, everyone was on to me. And I said, okay, we, we can't not. Because do you know what? If she'd been 14 or 15, I probably wouldn't have take, taken that decision to have the operation. But she's 11 and a half, 12, and it's because terriers can go quite a long way. They, she could go to 15 or 16 years old. So I thought, yeah. And what we did was we said, right, we won't do that this year, and we won't do that, and we'll make economies. Everyone's making economies. And, you know, some people might say, well, you, all, all that money on your dog? She's one of the family. Yeah, we, we, we love her so much. What you're saying strikes a lot of chords with me. We also nearly lost our Bella because... She, like many dogs, had canine vestibular disease. It is like a vertigo when people get vertigo. And suddenly I, in the morning I woke up and I heard this dog. I just heard what, what I can only say was screaming. And she was uh, on her bed flipping like a fish. And I thought she was having a seizure. We rushed her to the vet and they diagnosed canine vestibular disease. Now that did have a bit more of an impact on her. I mean, she does have some issues with her hind quarters and there is a little bit of cognitive decline. I just wouldn't ever, ever change the fact that we made the decision, even though she was so very, very ill at the emergency vets, that we didn't think that she would come around. We made the decision to try everything we possibly could. Misty is much, much better better now she's not perfect but do you know what she is she's so really slow on the walks the others are ahead even maxwell and she just toddles along on the walk what might that mean well yeah i do think um you know with our elderly dogs especially when they've had an episode or they've had an illness um, and movement in general is just harder we don't know how it has affected them neurologically but also just general aging but you know what doesn't seem to ever fade and that's the sniffer so I will take Bella out for our sniffy walk. We don't go very far at all. In fact, Love we it. probably don't get even further than 100 yards away from my house. But she sniffs and she sniffs for as long as I, you know, as long as she wants to sniff because it's not so much physical exercise now with an elderly dog. It's still that mental stimulation. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.